Okay, I'll try and keep this steady, but I just have my hand. Not a fancy steady cam. <laughs> I just thought I'd check out the new fence area. It'll be done in just a few days, I guess. This, from that round post to that round post, will be the driveway gate, which is standing right there. And as you can see, it's a ways from the house, but not too far. So, from the gate, the fence runs along the driveway, which means people can come all the way up here, UPS guy, without our help. And then, the fence is gonna turn here, and down here. Everything on the left will be outside. Everything on the inside will be fenced in for the pooches. This is the dog control fence. And then we come down here. It's gonna be a four foot woven wire fence, four foot field fence. There's a brace there for the corner. Here's another straight shot down here. Gonna cut off some of my driving routes like that road right there. I won't have a gate, but that's okay. And then, so here, there's the trail that goes to Grandpa from right here, and that's outside the fence. Oops. So, anyway, here's our fence line. <coughs> and here it is, braced again for another corner and another gate. That gate is easy, small enough to be easy for walking through, but it's big enough for my uh, four-wheel Ranger, my four-wheel drive ATV, and, uh, and this golf cart that I'm in. And here, this is right by the ravine road on this one side, and goes out to the end of the property. This road goes down to the pond, and then here's the fence, and there's the house back there. So then the fence will come up and go along here. I got that bouncing around. Dida. <laughs> Oh yeah, and then they run up here. Here's the auger that's been setting the big fence posts, the big wooden ones. And they've been using the bucket on the front of this tractor to just to push these poles down in the ground. There's, uh, I think there's four feet, no, three feet. I don't know. There's two or three feet of pole in the ground anyway. Okay, so there's the house. I went back around to that last gate to come inside to where the fence is so I can get by this tractor. Okay, so there's the tractor they were using. This belongs to my next door neighbor, as does the gang of my next door neighbor, JC, and his wife, Lisa and their two sons and two daughters have been coming over here and putting in this fence for us. Um, I don't know what to say. They're dedicated, uh, non-vaccinated, um, right-wing Fox News listening. I, I don't know. You know, I don't know what to say. I, I haven't been interacting with them. Mary Lou has been and been keeping her distance, and they're not offended by that. They couldn't be any more different from us, but in many, many ways. But they're neighbors, and they're being very, very neighborly. Anyway, that pond, that goes down to the orchard. And then after that is the pond. And here's another one of the gates that'll be big enough for my ATV and the golf cart and walking the dogs. Here's the pet cemetery. 
might have had to choose a bigger spot for that, but anyway. And then we go up here, and here, this was cut through here to make it a little easier to drive. And here's a corner. Yeah, that road goes up toward the back of the property. Well, it's actually the north end of the property. But we come around here. And this is real close to the property line. The property line is just on my left here. jog around this tree that I just tried to run into. Come here, and then we're going straight down to that far corner. That's where the property line is right there. And the fence will come down here. It'll be just a foot or two inside the property line. and leave us plenty of road here to maintain it. And drive the perimeter and walk dogs and things. Back Lou Studio and the greenhouse and the garden and the compost heaps. I got to build some boxes for those this week. Here's a big home. <laughs> well, here's a creepy house on the next door. Abandoned building, actually. Mary Lou calls it the Marston House, which if anybody's familiar with Stephen King, they know what that is. And the fence is going to come down here. <clears throat> and they shot a laser to make sure they had a straight shot with it, so I guess they do, even though I don't see it here, but that's cool. It's going to go in front of some trees and behind others. <clears throat> and then right here, we're pretty much even with that house again. And there's the front gate again. And here's the corner. And here we are. Okay, so here I am up at the end of the road, or on the road, the mailbox, and the garbage cans. And this is our entranceway. This gate was here when we got here, and we never use it. We're gonna try and start being disciplined, I think, and close it and lock it when we're not here, but so far we haven't. And then that will be open whenever we're here and of course delivery people and anybody else has access to this driveway here comes down here and then they'll get to this area and it'll be fenced on the left. Piney Woods will be fenced in. Real nice. And then they'll get to a gate. There'll be a gravel. We'll spread that gravel that's over there around this area here. And that'll be our parking area. And there you have it.